What do bird houses and innovations and changes in education have in common? That's what I'm going to talk about in this video. Stay with me because it has a really valuable practical lesson that's critical for success, for expanding our sense of possibility in education or in any kind of field of study or organization. This epiphany about birdhouses happened when I was sitting in this very room one fall. I was thinking about change management. I was charged to effect some changes in my organization to pursue some new opportunities. I was trying to figure things out. I looked outside my window and I saw on my garage, which is outside the window right behind me here, I saw a birdhouse, a very traditional birdhouse. It had four sides with a slanted roof, all made out of wood with a little round hole in the center. And I found myself asking this interesting question. What does it take to build a birdhouse? So, of course, the answer, if I were to show someone this birdhouse that was right outside of my window, they would have said, well, you need some wood, you need some nails, perhaps a hammer, a drill to drill the hole, and that might be it. Those are the, the items that you need. And if you have those, you can build a birdhouse. And then I had this moment of kind of epiphany, maybe not that massive epiphany, but it was a significant one for me. And I just went to the internet and I googled how to build a birdhouse. And what I discovered were all of these amazing, beautiful birdhouses. And to this, today, to this day, I actually collect different birdhouses and I keep them around my office. You'll probably see some in the background. I'll give you an example. How do you build a birdhouse? Here's one. Wood? Nails? A drill? Nope. How do you build a birdhouse? How about this one? Wood? Yes. But not the same items. It did involve a saw and some other items, but it's a very different birdhouse than that traditional one that I described before with the four sides and the hole in the center and the slanted roof. Now, what's interesting though, is you can take that traditional birdhouse, you can take this birdhouse or this birdhouse, and you can find all others. One of my favorite, I'm actually looking for a good example. One is a birdhouse made out of an old boot and it has a hole in it. And it was uh, just made out of a boot that was worn out and now it's serving as a birdhouse. But all of these, they can have different shapes, different materials, different sizes, but they still have the same core purpose. They're a birdhouse. They're a house for a bird, maybe for different kinds of birds, maybe for the same kind of bird. And the point here is, the possibilities are endless, and yet we oftentimes put ourselves into these boxes, these birdhouse boxes, where we think of education or our organization. This doesn't have to just be about education. That's my field. Pick your own field. And, and many people get sort of stuck in these ruts, and they think that there's one way to build this kind of organization. And they're all, they all look the same. they are boxes that look the same, maybe different colors, different shades of the same colors, different styles, but generally Generally about the same thing. But the, the exciting part is these possibilities exist as well, right? There are so many possible ways to reimagine your organization with different materials, figuratively speaking, that could expand your sense of possibility in amazing ways. So I'd like to challenge you to think about that with your organization. What are the ingredients that are used to build your organization? And let's say you only had one of those. How could you build it anyway? What would it take? Try that thought experiment and see where it takes you. It might just expand your sense of possibility and create some really exciting opportunity that you never thought of before. If you do this exercise, I would love to hear it in the comment area, or you could try it with a group of people. It's a powerful thought experiment or activity to try with people. I'd love to hear your comments. If you find this useful, hit that like button. And if you want more content like this, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Before you do so, you might want to check out some of the other videos and see if this is what you like. I have a lot of different topics. I explore self-directed learning, leadership and innovation, online learning, trends in education, personal learning and professional development. So we go a, a few different angles, but I have different playlists for each of those. So check it out. If you see something you like, go ahead and subscribe.